Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Tung Jitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. So I'm going to give you an update, share with you what I have. Now I've mentioned in my previous videos, I've been receiving the sign Happy Birthday. I also remembered the dream I had with the spaceship and the birthday card on the shelf. So I went to look up Happy Birthday in Dramotria. Okay. And we see the value number of 153, which is the number of fish in a net. Jesus Christ is a fish of men, which is tied to the snatching away, hoponzo, okay, being caught up, ascension. So I go do my investigation now into birth from birthday. And I go look into the Egyptian hieroglyphs again to look at the symbol of birth. And I come across this image. This is a birth taking place in a door. The symbolism of a door and a birth. The hands crossed and the two celestials up here. This has got a symbol in it, which is a heavenly birth. I made the connection with the female figure that stretched over the heavens. Is this the same figure giving birth to a new heaven and earth? Do you see what I'm saying? So I carry on doing my research. And I hear this Bible verse, Psalms 81, 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed. So there's an appointed time with the moon. Now, we have learned over the recent years that the new moon is not a, not the sliver moon. All right. It's the full moon. And I don't go by feast days. I go by signs. All right. Because as it says in, in the Bible, Satan has rearranged the times and dates, the calendars. And so I like to go into the Egyptian calendars and the stargates because that's in connection with what you can see in the heavens and the things that's going on in your life and on earth. Now, in the Strong's Concordance, if you look up Psalms 81.3, it literally tells you it's a full moon. And now we know it's an appointed time. And I've mentioned that on the 23rd this month, we have the full moon in Scorpio. All right. If you can see that, all right. And it passes through the scales. Hopefully you can see that, all right. It passes through the scales. I do apologise for the lighting. Okay. I was also listening to this watchwoman and she mentions that there's been like three great conjunctions, three conjunctions. And I was thinking about, I was like, well, by the, by the third of next month, it'd be near us like four conjunctions. And, she, and this is rare. I mean, what we've been seeing since the year 2017 is being rare because the harbingers signs. But the amount of conjunctions that we are receiving in this period is really rare. And it's and it piqued our interest. And I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. Because at the moment we've got Venus now conjunction Jupiter. And she also mentioned that P uh, that 12P uh, Pen Brooks, which is tied with the root word bridge, is in the rabbit. All right. So mm -hmm. I carry on doing my investigation, keeping rabbit in mind. And the rare conjunctions taking place the same time. All right. So we got the comet in the rabbit and 
a, a conjunction with Venus and Jupiter before Venus then moves or merges with the sun. Then I'm listening to this other brother who goes into Strong's breaking down this connection with a robbery, the spoils of war. And he goes into Strong's in connection with the robbery and Horponzo. I'll show you the slide. And he mentions there's this word in this language, booty to deem anything a prize. It's here. Now the phonics of it, when I come across this, I thought of the constellation booties, booty to deem anything a prize. And this is part of the harvest. Ponzo to seize, catch up, snatch away. Now remember when I was walking to the shop yesterday, I kept hearing the words from people in the street as I was passing by are going away. And I thought, yeah, this is interesting. To seize, snatch, obtain by robbery. And as it says in scripture, and we have this language, he comes as a thief of the night, as a thief of the night. Hence, you've got to keep watch. In the Oliver Discourse, it really emphasises the importance of keeping watch. OK. So I'm like, OK, there's that phonics, that word booty again. And there is lots of other connections with that word booty. Right in again with the times that we are in, the harvest, the season, the caught up, the ascension, etc. And I've mentioned the constellation Booties, Torat. Okay, with our Taurus in it, we received this from spirit. And it has a cleaver, a knife. Pay attention to that. And I mentioned there is a cutting away, a cutting away from what? From the unclean, from the Ouroboros, from this age. To escape all the horrors that's coming down upon the world, we want to find our exodus. So I carry on doing my research. And I did mention that the hippo, this is a star map, a stargate. It's a countdown clock, right? There are three seasons. The third, se third season is May. The hippo, I found a connection with 88. And I keep seeing 88. It's Torat. Booties. And I I shared the connection with Virgo, the great Revelation 12 sign we received back in 2017. So I carry on doing my research. Again, keeping this in mind, the rabbit, right? Because we have 12P, Brooks, the bridge, now in the rabbit. So I'm like, let's sophisticate the rabbit as well now. And I come across this knife, like cleaver with the rabbit, All right? You got the feather. This is also to tie, tied with a state of mind, right? We have the waves. This is water, consciousness, vibration, frequency, lightning, light okay with a rabbit a cleaver like a knife a cutting away i come across this image right and you've got the rabbit again the waves consciousness water lightning okay vibration frequency then we have the like snake or worm snake with horns which is also symbolic of mercury then we have if anything's got horns it's loosely tried uh, tied to mercury then we got these four vases and i was thinking the way these vases are together is it connecting to conjunctions four conjunctions with a rabbit and the snake with the horns with mercury and the vibration frequency 
I, I do some I do some research, possibly. Which led to the figure Figugus, if I can say that right, eleven six. All right, and now remember we got the co comet twelve P in the rabbit constellation. And it says the rabbit, though it chews the the cud does not have a divided hoof it is unclean for you and so we are aware we are in the season of the harvest where we have the tares and the wheat and the, a separation an exodus for all those who are in christ jesus comes to reward all those who have done the works that you would escape all the things coming upon the world and so there is again more connection being made with this season that we are in may and with the conjunction taking place the rabbit booties the egyptian hieroglyphs the signs that we are receiving from spirit it is upon us keep watch i'm aware that many have gone quiet because a lot of watch dates have come and gone but you don't give up you keep watch as it emphasizes in Oliver discourse especially in the times that we are in it's always going to be at the last moment and unexpected and we are given a warning of this hence no one will know the day or the hour he comes as a thief of the, of the night all right He's given us the signs to keep watch, watch, watch. So I hope this helps, gives you uh, encouragement, inspiration to go do your own investigation. And I think that's all I have for you. I will keep you updated if anything else comes in. All right. I can feel it in the air. You feel that something is about to happen. I can feel it. Have a great day, guys. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengjitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Love you guys.